Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thank Coach, you. I know we talked about yesterday, yesterday, but that really had a lot of hangover today because you guys have now won seven straight series wins. That's yeah. very big, especially with the, the uh, schedule you got coming up. Yeah, thanks for jinxing us. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. And, and you know, you look at during that time, we've lost at least uh, three times on a Friday and responded to go ahead and win a series. And, uh, you know, we, <clears throat> you, just, you just have to be able to continue to, to, to compete. Now, it's so cliche, but just the toughness. You just have to continue to go and go and go. You can't worry about what happened. We couldn't worry about what happened Friday. We couldn't worry about what happened in the first five or six innings yesterday. You just got to keep going. And you come out today and, and you could kind of feel us. You could feel the energy was back. You could feel that the confidence was back. We kind of had the, the monkey off our back. I didn't realize going into this weekend that I guess we had lost five in a row to, to Minnesota. and I, I didn't know. So to be able to come out today and you could tell it was like, these guys are ready to play, and, and we were good. We were good. We really we worked and, and just kept adding runs and put a lot of pressure on them, and it was good. What did it show on just about your team that for the first 16, 17 innings of, of the whole series, Minnesota really outplayed you guys, but yeah. to come back and still win the series anyway? Well, you know, first, it it, uh, it shows that we have work to do from the, on the mental side of things. Right? It shows that, that I have to do a better job. I have to communicate more effectively and efficiently. I have to make sure that, that those things – uh, don't happen from a competitive standpoint and from a focus standpoint. But from, from, from that point forward, you look at the ability to, to respond from that and recover from that. You know, it, it, we've continued to do those things, whether it be injuries or whether it be losses early or, or what have you. We've continued to show that we have that ability and we have to, we have to be, become that. That has to be our identity for, forevermore. As long as, as I'm associated with this program, as, as long as they'll have me, that has to be our identity uh, for, for this year moving forward and, and evermore. And we can't ever go back. So um, we, we, just, we just responded in, in a terrific way in the way that we, we, were, we looked inward. We looked inward for the solution and not outward for a solution. And, and that was what I was very proud of. It has to be that way for the next seven games, too. We have a tough series coming up with Illinois, Michigan. Big Ten title, right. possibly in the balance. Yeah. So. Sure. Yeah, we, we we talked about from the very beginning. You find a way to win each series, you're going to have a chance to win a Big Ten championship. And and you just keep going. But what we have to do the next several weekends is what we did what we did recovering this weekend, where we, we just have to keep it inward. And I know I keep saying that, but there's that's just the only way to do it. You just have to continue. You look at like today, right? So we're everyone's we want to stop striking out, which the strikeout to me, the, I, I'm. I, I'm indifferent because the pitch count is more important and doing damage is more important. But you look today, we put in a game plan. We have to be able to wake this guy work up, which we talked about it almost primarily off speed pitches for the last for the last uh, couple weeks. And if you if you force someone off of that game plan, the next game plan they'll go to is fastball away. It goes in cycles. So you look at it today. We take uh, I think we take six walks, three in the first, and a hit by pitch in the first. We take the change up. We make them work. Then they go back to fastballs away, and you just force them. You force them to work, and everyone works in patterns and rhythms. And if you get a guy, if plan B was as good as plan A, it would be plan A. So get them off plan A and continue to work, and we did that. We made an adjustment in-game, in-weekend, and we got better, and it proved the, 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 the winning piece of today. I'm going to ask Scotty this, too, but what did the first phase of part say about the play when you awarded second and then you didn't award second? <laughs> <laughs> he called it obstruction. So my point was, if you call obstruction, so then they should go to second base. And he said, well, I guess he didn't run fast enough towards second base. So if he would have run towards second base, I'm just telling you what I was told for between him and Scotty, if he would have gone faster to second base, then he would have been trying to move to the advancing base. And then that would have allowed him, if he was out, to have then gotten the base. But because he was only protected to go back to the base, I don't know. I felt like I was. I don't know. I felt like I was talking a different language, and we were talking about two different sports. I don't know. I just tried to keep everybody composed, because at the end of it, we, we I couldn't change it. The call's made. There's no there's no conference. You can't huddle them up. That's not like the foot's off the base. It's his call, and they can't. So all I got to do at that point is just make sure our guys and we and we didn't right. We didn't get a guy on third base and one out, and we strike out, ground out, and we we have to score that run. So again, those are all things that are outside of your influence that you can't control that you have to just work your way through and we didn't in that moment and we responded later on but the guy from third base has to score with that so I don't know what happened with that but you realize it's going to be really hard to transcribe that. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, so I mean, fault. it was like, it was, it was hard. Good to start with. It's going to be it was hard for me to comprehend in the moment. So imagine trying to explain something that you can't comprehend. But I don't know. Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong. But we won. So. What does it say about where you guys are as a team that you scored seven runs today without a home run? Yeah. Uh, we don't. We we really don't try. We really don't try. I would say this. What it says for us is. So I talked about before the game. I said, hey, the wind's blowing in. The wind's blowing in, okay? And this change-up guy, which is you're not going to get a bunch of pitches elevated that you can really come. But our ability, our, we, have to, we still have to play baseball. We can't cancel the game today. So we talked about we will play a game called through the line, right? So you have to prepare everyone for every different situation. So we'll play through the line, which is a head-high line drive to score points through your defense. So we'll play that. And so I said, hey, listen, today we just got to play through the line, take your walks, get him up, and we got we got to play fundamental baseball. So you look at it. Uh, Scotty Bradley doubles, cold ball lines out to right, move got a third base, ground ball scores. We had a couple of situations where we, we played more fundamental baseball. We have to be multifaceted, we have to be multidimensional. There's going to be days, listen, if, if we hit 250 home runs someday, like i would be ecstatic. If we hit 100, if we hit five, we have to be able to be multidimensional, multifaceted. We have to be prepared to score in a variety of ways. You'll see a sack one every now and then, you'll see a safety bunt, you'll see us hit and run every now and then you'll see us we'll still steal bases we're running today so whatever the situation calls for we have to be able to do that whatever the guy is providing you today was not a good matchup for us to, to hammer balls but um, I also wouldn't have minded if Matt Lloyd's ball would have stayed 10 feet fair and went to him. but I think it says that we're multifaceted multidimensional and, and again home runs are a product of spinning it right and having big strong guys we have big strong guys and uh, if the wind was blowing the other direction we probably hit one or two today and, uh, and then we would have been celebrating even more so a little bit of a change in the routine. You guys don't have a midweek game this week. Yes. So how does that kind of change the way that you operate heading towards next weekend? It doesn't change next weekend, except hopefully it just keeps us fresh. It changed the way we operated this weekend. So with Matt being a little bit tight, it allowed me to slow, uh, have Tommy be our, cl- our closer in essence this weekend. And Tommy was great, did a great job in that role, a little bit different role for him. Um, it affected this weekend, but next weekend it really won't. Um, you know, outside of kind of what we do with Tommy, we'll probably still be able to use Tommy in a limited role and then be able to have him or Beerman ready for, for next midweek. So we'll still use Beerman and Summer uh, this weekend because the most important game for us to win is the one we're currently playing. we got to win those before we can worry about the, the next midweek. Hopefully right. he just keeps guys fresh. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.